so here it has been told to find the coordinates of the point where the line through the points um, there is a straight line which is passing through the points a and b and that line is crossing the exit plane suppose this is the exit plane so the equation of the exit plane is y equals to 0 so um so then since the exit plane is always always perpendicular to the y axis it means the y axis is the is normal to the exit plane y axis is normal to the exit plane Okay, so um, the line L1, it will cross the plane, the exit plane uh, at some point P. So the coordinates of that point P we have to find. And we have to also find the angle which the line makes with the exit plane. So this angle also we have to find, this angle theta that the line makes with the exit plane. So if the normal vector to this plane we know that the normal vector to this to this uh, exit plane is obviously um, j cap so therefore now l1 vector we can tell it is suppose parallel to the b b1 vector where b1 vector we can tell it is uh, equal to that ab vector so therefore the angle theta we can tell that um, this will be if this is theta this will be 90 minus theta 90 minus theta so cos of 90 minus theta that will be equal to n vector dot b1 vector divided by mod of n vector into mod of b1 vector. So therefore we can tell that sine theta where theta is the angle in, in between the line and the plane. So sine theta will be uh, j cap dot b1 divided by mod of j cap dot b1 vector now mode of j cap is obviously 1 now first we have to find the b1 vector b1 vector is a b vector so that will be ob vector minus oa vector so that will be equal to 5 minus 3 i cap then plus 1 minus 4 1 minus 4 1 minus 4 uh, j cap uh, then plus 6 minus 1 k cap so therefore uh, b1 vector that will be equal to 2 i cap then minus 3 j cap plus 5 k cap so now uh, therefore b1 vector dot j cap so that will be obviously minus 3 so we have to take the mod of this actually but theta is the acute angle in between the line and the plane So then um, is minus 3. So therefore sine theta that will be equal to mod of minus 3 divided by mod j which is 1 and mod of b1 vector. So that is obviously equal to square root of 2 square plus 3 square plus 5 square. So this will be equal to square root of 4 plus 9 plus 25. So this will be 13 plus 25. So this will be uh, 38 square root of 38 so this is square root of 38 so therefore sine theta that will be equal to 3 by square root of 38 and therefore the angle theta will be sine inverse 3 by root 38 so this is so this theta is the required angle in between the in between the line 
and the exit plane. And we have to find the coordinates where the line through these points will intersect this plane. So now, um, simply first we have to find the equation of the line L1. So the equation of the line L1 will be R vector equals to uh, A vector plus lambda B1 vector. So A vector is obviously the position vector of the point A is O A vector since the point A lies on the plane uh, lies on the straight line. So O A plus lambda into B1 vector which is 2 I cap minus 3 J cap plus 5 K cap. So therefore this will be R vector equals to O A vector which is uh, O A vector O A vector is obviously 3 I cap plus 4 J cap plus K cap. So it is 3i cap plus 4j cap plus k cap plus lambda into 2i cap minus 3j cap plus 5k cap. So this is the required equation of the straight line. But we need to find at which point they will uh, the line will intersect the exit plane. So now any point on the straight line can be written as therefore any point any point on the line on the line L1 will have the position vector will have the position vector uh, which is will have the position vector which is R vector equals to R vector equals to 3 plus 2 lambda I cap plus uh, plus 4 minus 3 lambda J cap then plus 1 plus 5 lambda k cap and so this point if uh, so therefore the coordinates of the point p can be written as 3 plus 2 lambda comma 4 minus 3 lambda comma 1 plus 5 lambda and the point p should satisfy the equation of the plane also And this point P is lying on the plane, on the exit plane. So it should satisfy the equation of the exit plane. So it will satisfy the equation of the exit plane. It will satisfy the equation of the exit plane, which is y equal to 0. So if we put that, then we'll get 4 minus 3 lambda. That will that will be equal to 0. So, lambda will be equal to 4 by 3. Okay. So, if we put that, then we will get the coordinates of the point P. So, 3 plus 2 lambda, 3 plus 2 lambda, that will be equal to 3 plus 2 into 4 by 3. Uh, 3 plus 2 into 4 by 3. So that will be 3, 3 is a 9 plus 8 by 3. So that is, it is a 16, 17 by 3. And uh, 4 minus 3 lambda. So that will be a 4 minus 3 into 4 by 3. So this will be 4 minus 4, which is 0. And uh, 1 plus 5 lambda. So that will be 1 plus 5 into 4 by 3. So that is 3 plus... 4, 5 is a 20 by 3. So that is 23 by 3. Therefore, the required point the required coordinates of the point at which the line uh, line crosses the exit plane is the required coordinates of the point where the line crosses the exit plane uh, is given as which is uh, 17 by 3 comma 0 comma 23 by 3 so this is the final answer and the acute angle is sine inverse 3 by root 38 thank you